HVAC, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system, for non-sterile pharmaceutical manufacturing. Greetings from Everyday GMP, I am your presenter from Everyday GMP. Everyday GMP is a training and solutions provider, aimed to provide solutions to your problems and enrich the soft and technical skills of professional individuals and organizations to meet all criteria required in the life science industry, pharmaceutical, nutraceutical, cosmeceuticals, and related academia. Today we will discuss HVAC, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning dot for non-sterile pharmaceutical manufacturing. Before we start, please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more informative videos. So, let's start. HVAC for non-sterile pharmaceutical manufacturing. So we will discuss it today. Introduction. HVAC importance. ISO 14644-1 to 2015 WHO. Annex 8 guidelines on HVAC systems for non-sterile pharmaceutical products. HVAC area classification required for non-sterile pharmaceutical manufacturing areas. In the last conclusion. Introduction. HVAC, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, is a system that provides a comfortable and safe indoor environment by regulating temperature, humidity, air quality, and air movement in buildings. It involves the use of equipment such as heaters, air conditioners, fans, filters, and ducts to maintain optimal conditions. Heating, ventilation, and air conditioning HVAC, play an important role in ensuring the manufacture of quality pharmaceutical products. The Good Manufacturing Practice GMP, requirements for the prevention of contamination and cross-contamination are essential to design considerations of an HVAC system. A well-designed HVAC system also provides for the protection of the environment and the operators as well as comfortable working conditions. The HVAC, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system plays a crucial role in ensuring the quality and safety of pharmaceutical products. Here are a few reasons why. Temperature control. Many pharmaceutical products are sensitive to temperature and require specific storage conditions to maintain their efficacy. The HVAC system can help maintain the desired temperature range to ensure that the products are not compromised. Humidity control. Humidity can also affect the quality of pharmaceutical products. Too much humidity can cause the products to degrade, while too little can cause them to become brittle. The HVAC system can help maintain the optimal humidity level to prevent such issues. Continue to its importance. Air quality. Air quality is essential in the pharmaceutical industry as it can impact the purity of the products. The HVAC system can filter out contaminants, such as dust, bacteria, and other particles, to ensure that the air quality is optimal for the products. Sterility. Some pharmaceutical products require a sterile environment to prevent contamination. The HVAC system can control the airflow and prevent the entry of contaminants into the manufacturing area, ensuring a sterile environment. Overall, the HVAC system is critical in ensuring that pharmaceutical products meet the required quality and safety standards. Any deviations in temperature, humidity, air quality, or sterility can compromise the products and potentially harm the end users. World Health Organization Annex 8 Guidelines on Heating, Ventilation, and Air Conditioning Systems for Non-Sterile Pharmaceutical Products Annex 8 is a part of the World Health Organization's WHO, Good Manufacturing Practices GMP, Guidelines for Pharmaceutical Products. It provides guidance on the design, installation, operation, and maintenance of heating, ventilation, and air conditioning HVAC, systems for non-sterile pharmaceutical products. The purpose of these guidelines is to ensure that HVAC systems are designed and operated in a way that minimizes the risk of contamination and cross-contamination of non-sterile pharmaceutical products. The guidelines cover various aspects of HVAC systems, including air filtration, temperature and humidity control, air pressure differentials, and air flows. The Annex 8 guidelines emphasize the need for regular maintenance and monitoring of HVAC systems to ensure that they continue to operate effectively and meet the required standards. It also provides guidance on the validation and qualification of HVAC systems and the necessary documentation requirements. By following the Annex 8 guidelines, 
pharmaceutical manufacturers can ensure that their HVAC systems are designed and operated in a way that reduces the risk of product contamination and meets the necessary regulatory requirements for non-sterile pharmaceutical products. These guidelines mainly focus on recommendations for HVAC systems used in facilities for the manufacture of non-sterile dosage forms, which include tablets, capsules, powders, liquids, creams, and ointments. The general HVAC system design principles contained in these guidelines may, however, also be applied to other dosage forms. ISO 14644-1-2015 Clean Rooms and Associated Controlled Environments Part 1 Classification of Air Cleanliness by Particle Concentration ISO International Organization for Standardization, Class 8 is a classification for the cleanliness of the air in controlled environments, such as non-sterile pharmaceutical manufacturing facilities. According to the classification, the maximum allowable concentration of airborne particles with a size of 0.5 micrometers or larger is 100,000 particles per cubic meter of air. In addition, the maximum allowable concentration of particles with a size of 5 micrometers or larger is 29,300 particles per cubic meter of air. To ensure compliance with these requirements, air samples are taken from various locations within the facility and analyzed using particle counting instruments. The sampling locations and frequency of sampling are determined based on the size and layout of the facility, as well as the processes being performed. Sampling should be performed at regular intervals and during normal operating conditions to obtain representative data. The sampling equipment should be calibrated, and the sampling procedures should be documented to ensure the accuracy and traceability of the results. Regular monitoring and maintenance of the HVAC system and its components, such as filters and air handling units, are critical to maintaining the required level of cleanliness in the facility. Any deviations from the ISO Class 8 requirements should be investigated and corrective actions are taken to prevent contamination of the product and ensure patient safety. Air cleanliness classes by particle concentration within ISO 14644-1. Focus on ISO Class 8. All dot aha. So 29,300 particles are allowed of greater than 5 micron size. HVAC area classification required for non-sterile pharmaceutical manufacturing areas. Dispensing of raw material is under dispensing booth, Ralph, with class D background become ISO class 08. Sampling of room and primary packing material tablet compression, capsule filling, bottle filling, coating, ointment filling in class D ISO class 8. Primary packing in class D. Secondary packing is unclassified but controlled area. In the last conclusion, HVAC, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, is a system that provides a comfortable and safe indoor environment by regulating temperature, humidity, air quality, and air movement in buildings. It involves the use of equipment such as heaters, air conditioners, fans, filters, and ducts to maintain optimal conditions. Overall, the HVAC system is critical in ensuring that pharmaceutical products meet the required quality and safety standards. Any deviations in temperature, humidity, air quality, or sterility can compromise the products and potentially harm the end users. The full training courses are available on demand for on-site, online, and hybrid forms. We offer a variety of training packages in a range of subject areas and can offer blended learning opportunities to best meet your needs. If you would like a consultation to see how we can assist you with issues in your organization, please contact us. Please subscribe to the channel to get more videos. Contact plus 9231125384455 email info at everydaygmp.com website www.everydaygmp.com